Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already been here before or you don't already know me, my name is Brett Searle, I'm a magician and entertainer. And this channel just helps me share some of the things that I've seen as a professional in the wedding industry just to help you with your wedding planning. So let's get straight into today's video and that's five great things that I've seen at weddings which are unique and they really do work. So as you can imagine, in my time as a professional in the wedding industry, I've seen loads of different ideas and I've seen lots of ideas that work really well and maybe some that don't work so well. But I'm gonna save that for another video. Let's today talk about the things that I've seen that I really like and I think work really well. And I'm just gonna limit to my five favorites with number one being my top favorite, the others in no particular order. I'll also give some honorable mentions of some other ideas that might help you with your wedding planning and give you some inspiration. So let's get straight into the list. And at number five is having a winter wedding. And you might be thinking, well, what's such a good idea about having a winter wedding? Well, to be quite honest, it's got such a nice cozy atmosphere to winter weddings. You can have them at a time of year which is off peak, so you can save an absolute fortune on some venues because they're not gonna charge peak rates. And also some venues really come alive in the winter. So if you've got like a manor house or something like that, or a castle, you've got the log fires burning. Um, you can go for a Halloween theme maybe. You can go for a Christmas theme. You can go for that time of year when people don't have so much in their diary and they're just looking forward to having a party. So those little things just add up to make a winter wedding absolutely fantastic. So for example, one wedding I was at, instead of having a champagne reception after the ceremony, they had hot chocolates and marshmallows and it was just awesome. It was that time of day when people didn't want to start drinking but they came out and had marshmallows and it was just warm and cozy and absolutely awesome. Who doesn't like hot chocolate and marshmallows? It is something totally unique and a great idea. So there you go, winter weddings I think are absolutely awesome and worth thinking about. Okay, so number four on the list is having a kid's disco. And you might think this is a little bit strange, but when I saw it and saw it in action, it really worked well. And what actually they did, they used that time of day where people might think it's kind of that lull period after the wedding breakfast, and before the evening function. And that's also a time when the kids are kind of a bit bored and you get kids running around because they've had something to eat and they've had some sugar and, and they're just on a buzz and everybody else wants to just chill and relax. So what the couple did, they used the DJ and they said, can you just play some Disney songs and some old favorites that people just love to enjoy? And it wasn't like a big disco, it's kind of in a, a sort of side area so the rest of the room could be set up for the evening. And it just worked because the kids just enjoyed it. It occupied them for a little bit. The adults, it gave them that sort of uplifting beat music that they, they just loved. And the ones with the kids could just sit back and, and watch or even join in with the kids. And so it kind of filled that moment a day and it just worked. And I've only seen it once, but when I did see it, I just thought it was absolutely awesome. So that's on the list, that's number four. So number three on the list is your surprise entertainment. And that can be something like a singing waiter or a comedy waiter where there've been waiters all the way through the day and then they suddenly burst out in song and involve everybody in that way. That's a great idea, but my favorite version of surprise entertainment is having a lookalike at your wedding. So a lookalike of a famous celebrity or a comedy character. Someone like that who can just interact with everybody, involve everybody. Our act, we do the office lookalikes. We've got David Brent and myself as Gareth. Uh, I can mingle as a magician. David Brent can do the comedy. We have a whole routine which we do with the bride and groom, which involves everybody, the best man. And it's just so much fun. And people love the comedy aspect, the comedy characters interacting with us. Everybody's got a phone these days with a camera on it, so there's loads of people wanting to take selfies with us. And it just gives a great buzz to the day. It is good and it doesn't have to be um, office lookalikes of course. You've got Del Boy and you've got Gordon Ramsay who can come out of the kitchen. You've got Bloey Williams who can do a great singing routine and it's just a great surprise. So I think that really works. All the weddings that we've done have been totally transformed by us making a surprise appearance or just being there right from the start of the day and just hosting the whole day as an alternative to a Toastmaster. And so number two on the list is something that might not appeal to everybody or might not fit everybody's taste, but 
is something really worth thinking about and that is theming your day. And when I've done it, the best theming that I've seen and I've been involved in is having a medieval theme. And the great thing about this is that it fits so many venues. It's got so many different ideas associated with it. You can theme your food, so you can have a medieval banquet and you can theme your entertainment. So I'd be a jester typically if I was at a medieval wedding and that allows me to just do comedy stuff. It allows me to do juggling, it allows me to do magic. It just loads of different things. The, the scope is just massive. And also you can have your guests join in as well by suggesting to them great places to find medieval costumes. And sometimes that just helps people relax because they're not in a suit, they're not in their, their best frocks or anything like that and they could just relax, the whole thing comes together. And I've done this all the way from the beginning of the day, so we've had like a hand fasting ceremony, right as a ceremony itself, the wedding ceremony, all the way through until the evening where you've got minstrel um, dances, like shanty dances. Um, and stuff like that and, and it does work. It works so well that I have to have it on this list as one of my definite favorite ideas that I've seen at a wedding and been involved in. So before we go on to my number one favorite things of things that just work at weddings, let's have a look at a few things which I need to give an honorable mention to. So the first one is a cake competition. And when I say that, the couple, they they encourage their guests to decorate and bring cakes along and it might sound a little bit odd but it totally worked and was totally amazing instead of their main wedding cake they had a whole table of wedding cakes which just so intricate so much expression put in there and so much relating to the couple themselves from their friends also, let's have a look at Silent Disco. Silent Disco is also a favorite of mine because it works around so many different uh, ways of helping your day. People don't mind dancing and enjoying themselves as Silent Disco. Next one is alternative colored wedding dresses. So instead of a white dress, maybe red dress or black dresses, something like that. Um, and it allowed the bride to give so much more expression about themselves, express their personality and it is a really nice surprise having a afternoon tea wedding. So instead of having a three course meal, self service, having just afternoon tea, sandwiches and cakes. And that really works because it helps people relax. Sometimes you, you might have a time of day where you, you don't want to have people having a, a huge meal or something like that. Particularly if you've got like an outdoor wedding with a marquee, you can have a jazz band as well. So it's kind of like a, th a theming thing, which kind of works. A quick one to mention is having a round top table. And this might be a insignificant sort of point, but actually it works really well because sometimes if you've got a, a family which is slightly more nervous or, or less comfortable sitting at the top of uh, a room with everybody watching or them having to watch everybody else, having a top table can be really nice and sociable. People still know it's the, the top table and I've seen it where it's been in the center of the room so they're actually really close to all their friends. So yeah, that's another quick one that really works. A top table which is round as opposed to long and straight. And of course, I've got to mention mingling entertainment as a magician myself if i was working at a wedding i'm there to change the atmosphere to lift the atmosphere to help people relax to do the ice breaking so during the drinks reception i'm doing ice breaking entertainment getting to meet people chatting with them doing some fun stuff making them laugh enjoy themselves uh, and then around the tables i'm feeling the long moments in between service and just keeping that atmosphere going all the way through the day and of course it's my job and that's what I do. I'm there to break the ice and create some fun and something about the day that people will chat about and remember for a long time afterwards. So those are the honorable mentions. Let's get straight into my top thing that I see at weddings that really makes the day different and really works for weddings. And that is just being yourself and knowing that the wedding day is all about you. And that might seem like a strange thing. It's not like the, the entertainment that you just bring in. It's not like those things, but it's, it's about having a mindset about your wedding day. Remember the wedding day is all about you. It's not all about the traditions and all that. The traditions are nice, but don't let them rule what you want for your day. So for example, I see this a lot more at second weddings or uh, weddings with the couples are slightly older, they've got that more confidence or they know each other better 
and they haven't had the pressures of they have to invite certain people because other people are saying so or they haven't had you know they're not following those traditions and everything kind of fits together nicely for them as i said it's a mindset it's about thinking about what you want and just making your day about you and that is what will make your wedding just work if you're more relaxed and if your day is confidently about you, your guests will just enjoy it and they will also relax. They'll, they'll know they've got more freedom. They don't have to follow the traditions as well. So that's the biggest thing that I can say works really well to make a difference to your day, just being you. So thanks for watching. I hope this video has been useful for you. I hope it's given you some ideas and some confidence about the things that will work for your wedding day. If it has, please don't forget to give this video a like. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it really does help me and help this channel grow. And if you've got some ideas for your wedding or unique ideas, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. So put them down there. And also I will link to some other videos of some great wedding ideas, um, particularly entertainment ideas up there, which you might be interested in. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye bye.